everyone, and we're back. My name is Miss Scarlet Tenager, and I am playing some Final Fantasy X. We are making our way through the top of Mount Gagazet on our way to Xanarkin. Where nothing bad will possibly happen. Us soon. AKA the worst she boss fight. fiends to test our summoner's strength. Who is she? Unaleska. <gasps> Her name's Lady Lady Unaleska. In Xanarkin, she awaits the arrival of the strongest. She is still alive? Yep, sort of. As much as Micah and Seymour. She's unsent. Why can't I all see. of the summoners become unsent after Lost they defeat Zen? <laughs> no. Nothing frightens me now. <laughs> Braska would be proud. Then I must not let him down. Aw, isn't that sweet? But yeah, Lady in Alaska, totally waiting for us there. So that brings to mind, if all of the summoners die when they summon the final Aeon, and Unaleska died when she summoned the final Aeon, but she came back as an unsent to teach everybody else. Can't, you know, like, if, if Una went through with everything and used the final Aeon and died, couldn't she just become, like, the rules for who becomes an unsent and who don't are really, really vague. <laughs> Like, super vague. Like, how do you become an unsent? I don't know, you get killed, and you don't get sent. There you go. But doesn't that mean that everybody who doesn't get sent should become an unsent? But no, some of them become thieves. And some of them are articulate stuff, like Micah and Seymour, where you can't tell that they're actually dead people. But, you know. I don't really want to do any random fights right now, because I just want to go straight into the boss fight. Because I want to go to Xanarkin. It comes! <laughs> the camera just pans around Orin, and he's just standing there all stoked. It comes! Okay, Orin. Also, boss fight. <clears throat> Which... I want... I definitely want Orin for this fight. Because I want to use all of the breaks. I also want to use Threaten on him. No, don't use Bushido. Um, skill? I don't want to use Mental Break. But I want to use the other ones if I remember correctly. Definitely want to use Power Break. There we go. Doesn't do a lot of damage, so they didn't do armor break first. <laughs> but I'm scared you're gonna kill me, I don't wanna get killed, it did. So. Oh, this attack is gross. Well, shit. <laughs> well, that was rude. Alright, about to use Mega Plan. This is either going to outright kill the Mana Guardian. Guardian, whatever it's called. Or it will almost kill it, so. By the way, I went ran back and got Yojimbo because in the climb through Mount Gagazet and the climb back down off of Gagazet, I had more than enough gold gil for Yojimbo. So we now have Yojimbo. Which means the last two that we still need to get before we have an entire roster of Aeons are the Magus Sisters <laughs> and Anima. Now, again, I don't know if I'm going to get them both on screen. I might. Maybe. We'll see. I might get it to the point where I'm about to go in and get them. And then I'll just, you know, pull back and wait. Until I record next to actually get them. But we'll see. Hey, can't we rest a little? You're not helping, Riku. No need. We reach the summit soon. And then Xanarkid. I know. That's why I want to stop for a bit. Because she's going to die. Means that... There's not much time left. Riku. Fine. I'll think on the way. <laughs> You're not gonna think of nothing, though. But it's okay. You can't have nice things. Hey, come on. Let's go. We are. We're almost there, aren't we? Yep. <sighs> and then you're just gonna a die. a long way. <laughs> What's so funny? You remind me of myself. Before, 
The closer I came to Xanarkin, the more I wondered. When we arrive, Brasco will call the final Aeon. He will fight Sin, then die. I thought my mind was made up long before. But when I stood here, my <laughs> resolve wavered. Because you know he's going to die soon. Never would have figured. Legendary guardians choke sometimes too, yeah? Huh? <laughs> legendary? legendary guardian. I was just a boy. It's like, what did you do a to make him legendary? Your age, actually. I wanted to change the world too, but I changed nothing. That is my story. He was a boy about Titus's age when he was first when he was brass with guardian. How did he age that much in ten years? Because he looks hella old. And like knowing what we know about the story, or an aging doesn't make a whole lot of sense. But we'll find that out later. <clears throat> I mean, unsent, Orin, unsent, yeah. Undead dude, shouldn't be aging, does anyway. There it is! A city dead for a thousand years. The ruins of Xanarkin. A city I had to see with my own eyes. There's your home! Sort of. The end of Yuna's journey. God, I love this game! Okay, I just got hit with a like, full brand of- last chapter. This game is my so story. good! I still like nine more, but my only thoughts, just. They kept floating up and then slipping through my fingers, slipping away before I could pin them down with words. Yuna, I say no. If you don't get a choice in this with you. Then you'll. Riku, you're a true friend, and I thank you, but I must go down to Sanarkand. You die. I'm not saying we shouldn't go, but shouldn't we think about it some more? I think she's been thinking a lot about this, don't you? There's got to be some kind of way we can save you, Yuna. All my life, I knew this moment would come. Uni. Thank you. Oh. Riku. How did she not hear the sphere she Thank just dropped? Everything. Don't say that, Uni. It's not over yet. Aw. Cousin love. Not that kind. Tell Sid. Thank you. You can tell him yourself. <laughs> These characters are so Please. good in 10 that te it makes 10 to even worse. <laughs> Don't say that because we're gonna see each other again, okay? Kimari, let's go. <laughs> wow, calling out Kimari, like, fuck the rest of the team. <laughs> oh, hey, Yuna, you dropped something. I'm gonna look at it while you guys walk away without me. Or, well, listen to it, at least. Does he, like, close his eye and the sphere, like, acts on his head or something to project the image into his mind? Because he's also seeing it. Sir Oren. And hearing it. Kimari but. told me, when my father wanted me taken from Bavel to Besaid, it was you who told Kimari, right? I had always wanted to meet you someday. I am truly glad that I had that chance. Having you as a guardian was so great an honor. I don't know how to thank you. Perhaps if I defeat Sin, that will be my thanks to you. That's what I'll do. Yes. I will challenge Sin. I will defeat Sin. I actually use If you are all there watching this, then I guess Sin is already gone. I actually used this monologue so in, um, in an audition once. <laughs> I suppose. <laughs> anyway, I just wanted to say, Sir Orin, I thank you. Kimari. 
longest Do monologue you ever. The first day we met, I was only seven. My father had defeated Sin, and all Bavel was celebrating. Everyone was saying what a hero my father was. I was so happy. But when night came, it occurred to me. My father had defeated Sin, and now he was dead. Yeah. Now, I was all alone. I couldn't sleep. So I wandered into the town, away from the celebrating crowds. Who let the seven-year-old wander to Bavel? I stood on the in Bavel, where my father and I had parted. Standing there, alone, I could see the fields where he had fought Sin. Then, you appeared, Kamari. You said you were looking for the daughter of Braska, remember? At first, Her invitation of I was Kamari, so scared. Oh my God. <laughs> Until I realized what a gentle person you are. <laughs> you weren't used to talking to children. When I told you that I was Braska's daughter, you said you would take me as far from Bavel as you could. That it was the wish of a man facing death. But he's not talking about Braska! I think. I cried then. Because that. That was when I knew my father was dead. But he wasn't talking and about I Braska. I would never <clears throat> see him again. You just held me without saying Which makes a me word. wonder why Kimari hasn't mentioned anything about I being cried after before. we got to Besaid, too. When you tried to go, after leaving me in the care of the temple, I held on to you crying, Don't go! Don't go! And you listened, Kimari. You stayed. Kimari, thank you. Thank you so much. It's so sappy. <laughs> and I've always liked your broken horn. Oh. Waka. Biggest rent of the litter, Kamari. I'll never forget my days spent with you. Growing up in Besaid. We always played together. Us and Chapu. That's why I was always so happy, I think. And when you refused to let me become a summoner, and I did it anyway. I'm sorry. I've always wanted to apologize. You know, when you tried to stop me then, really, I was happy. I could tell you really cared about me. You were like my big brother and sister. Oh. No, I think you really were my big brother and sister. Longest father ever. What else? <laughs> I love watching you play Blitzball, Waka. <laughs> I even love it when you scold me, Lulu. <laughs> really? Glutton for punishment much? I guess Who likes being scolded? The newest guardian. Star player of the Xanarkand Abes. You are... I am... Well... I'm glad. I'm glad that we met. We haven't even known each other that long, but it's funny. So, she, so this is what it feels like. It's a much more you. wonderful feeling than anything I had ever imagined. Wonderful. But it hurts sometimes. Hmm. Hmm. I wonder. I... <laughs> I just want to say thank you for everything. <laughs> maybe... Maybe that's why it hurts. When I... When I think about us never being together again at all... Okay, you No, I shouldn't say that. I'll do that part over. Um, Don't you love how she, like... What you up to? She leaves the recording at this. And she's like, I'll do that part over. I'll re-record that. 
She never does. She has plenty of opportunity to do so. I mean, granted, that is sort of like the last long, um, like, calm time that they have, because you got Operation Meehan happens right after that. Um, and then you have Guado Salam happens right after that, then you have Magalania that happens after that, and then Home, and then Babel. But it's still kinda like... R really, bro? I mean, she could have found, like, a minute to re-record that, because she should have known, at least, especially by this point, that if she died here in Xanarkin, they were gonna find that, and they were gonna find what she wanted them to re-record, like Titus just did. Also, again, how did Yuna not notice she dropped a gigantic sphere? Also, where is she keeping the sphere? In her skirt? Like, strapped to her upper thigh? I'm not even- what? Again, why am I trying to find logic in a video game? I'm, it's not gonna happen, especially not a Final Fantasy game. Okay. Here we go, time for the cutscene from the beginning of- the, well, the intro before you get to the title screen. Everybody's resting before they go into the city proper. Well. So we had a long monologue, and now we just get long silence. that necklace. I have both versions of it. I have the one that she's wearing now, and I have the one that she wears in the FMVs, because every character has slight different, like, alterations to their clothing in the FMVs and the in-game rendered footage. I don't know if it was just, like, miscommunication between the teams that worked on both, but it, it's very, very subtle, small differences. Like, the design on the necklace is slightly different. It has more of a bell shape on it. Whereas in-game it has more of a flower shape. But I have both necklaces for my cosplay. And actually, when I was making the costume, my Yuna cosplay, I had to figure out, like, am I going to use the FMV part for this, or am I going to use the in-game? Because in the FMV, she has, like, 20 freaking pleats in her skirt, and they has, she has three different kinds of pleats in her skirt. It's dumb. It's stupid. In-game, it just looks like pleats, of, like, a couple large pleats all the way across her waist, or her hips. But no, in the FMV, she has something like 20 to 30-ish, depending on your size, pleats, and there are three different kinds. She has an inverted box pleat in the center front of the skirt, she has knife pleats on both sides, and she has two box pleats in the center back Listen of the skirt. Listen to my story. And a slit on one side, which fucked up the entire this skirt. This may be our last chance. That's just me venting about cosplay. Don't worry about it. AKA, Yuna's is really hard to make, and I love that costume, but you can find, if, if any of you ever meet me when I'm wearing that costume, you can find in the set by the center back, underneath one of the pleats, is a whole bunch of hand stitching. Because when I originally did it, I put the slit on the wrong side, and I finished the skirt, I painted the skirt, I did hey, everything. There was more, right? And just went, oh, yeah, I fuck. mean like that time. <laughs> and had to redo it. Uh, anyone? So I cut the skirt in half instead of um, ironing it flat think, and redoing it. Yes. I think that we should I just stop. It. Maybe for now. Yuna! You got Riku's hopes up there for like half a second, but yep, here we go. Let's go in to Sandwich. Actually, I should probably save it. Because there is a save point back there. I'm gonna save it. Saving's good. We'll postpone Luna. Luna? Yuna's eventual demise for, you know, a little bit. Also, something else that I noticed. You see that we can't play Blitzball anymore on the save points? When I went all the way back to the Calm Lands to go get Yojimbo off screen, I noticed you can totally play Blitzball in the Calm Lands, but you can't in Gagazet or in Xanarkand. At least not during, like, this section of the game. 
it's just kind of funny. I was like, no, you you can't play Blitzball now, it's too heavy storiness. But you can trek back to the Calm Lands if you want. It's, it's silly. It, it's silly. Oh! Cutscene! As I was walking. Looks like the far plane. Close enough. You're not helping, Orn. <laughs> oh, Mr. Cryptic. Is that seriously it? Some cutscene that is. So, I noticed something as I was in a random boss fight. Okay, you know how Lulu has her bio spell? Well. When I was casting it, um, in one of the random fights, she said something like, maybe this will help with your complexion? The first thing I thought of was Botox joke. Lulu totally just made a Botox joke. What? <laughs> Okay, here we are, going into Player of the long road. Name yourself. The dome. I am the summoner Yuna. I have come from the island of Bisset. Yes, we're going into the Bloodsball Dome. Eyes, my dear, show me the long road you have traveled. So many unsent. Very good. You have journeyed well. Lady Unaleska will surely welcome your arrival. Go to her now, and bring your guardians with you. Because the guardians are really the most yes. important part! Alright, here we go. Into the Zanderkin Dome! Gotta battle our way through to Unaleska. And the Cloister of Trials lies beyond that! It might benefit the future of Spira. I will gladly give my life. It is the highest honor for which a guardian might ask. Use my life, Lady Yoken, and rid Spira of sin. What? What was that? More secrets! Our predecessors. She said Lady Yoken, didn't she? Wait, she guarded High Summoner Yoken? <laughs> <Good> shot! <laughs> this dome is filled with fireflies. It's like one gigantic sphere. People's thoughts remain here, forever. As do you know. Like, wait, what do they mean by using her life? <laughs> More secrets to learn. Alright, here we go. More stuff in the Santa Kingdom. No! Mother, no! I don't want you to become a babe! It's Seymour! There is no other way. Use me and defeat Sin. Only then. Will the people accept you? I don't care about them! So, Anima! I you, Mother! No one else! I don't have much time left. Hey, wasn't that... Seymour? So... Seymour's mother was dying, and so she took her son to go... freaking kill Sin! Become... So she went to become her, uh, become the final Aeon for her son because she was dying. But that also means like she she sent her son to death. What kind of mother sends their child to their death? A terrible one. Also, that was a nice counter attack. I've never seen Waka do that before. It's got the ball goes no. <laughs> Oh, for a second, I was like, bye, Riku! Oh, and now we've got some Braska, Jekt, and Orin action! Uh, hey, it's Braska, Daddy! You don't have to do this. Thank you for your concern. I'm gonna do it anyway, though. I said my piece. Well, I haven't. Lord Braska, let us go back. I don't want to see you die. You knew... Oh, that line delivery. <laughs> yes, but I... I cannot accept it. <laughs> Oren, I am honored that you care for me so. I should bet. But I have come to kill grief itself. I will defeat sin and lift the veil of sorrow covering Spira. Please understand, Oren. And then it gets even worse, because Oren not only loses Jack, he lo or loses Braska, he loses Jack too. Because we cannot have nice things. It's illegal. I don't want level 3 key spheres, I need another level 4 key spheres. Gosh darn it, Nappa. 
I can't have nice things. I just can't have them. Like, at all. You know what? I don't want to do this fight. Titus? Titus, we're running from this fight. <laughs> Cause I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it right now. I've done so many, so many things. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. I just want to get to the puzzle so I can do the puzzle. Even though I don't like the puzzle. Because it takes forever. Gone! <laughs> Just flee from everything! This entire Let's Play, I have very rarely flee from everything unless I knew I was starting to run out of time. But now I'm just like, get flee from everything. And now we just get to see lots of daddy. All of the daddies. Except Orin. Orin's not a daddy, as far as we know. Are the trials ahead? Yeah. Probably. Why did he go over to the sheep? To the same sphere. It's not like he saves. I was expecting, you know, parades and fireworks. Well, afterwards. You can ask for them after I defeat Sin. And die. After you defeat Sin and die. Also, what is up with what Broska wears? He looks like he's wearing a... I don't know, a, a bag? Like, a really ornate looking bag. I don't know, it just looks weird. Okay, time to go do the Cloister of Trials, and then the worst frickin' boss fights in this game. And by that I mean the one worst boss fight. There's actually three boss fights in one. And it is made of terrible, terrible, terrible assness. Alright, we just put in the last sphere. Cloister of Trials is done. We can't get the Destruction Sphere yet, because you actually have to come back here after this, once you get the airship. Shrug. And then you can do the Destruction Sphere puzzle for Xanarkand. Boom. Oh, I didn't play the last note. <laughs> Rude. Alright, and I put a save point here for a reason. Because we have to do a boss fight before we go on to the boss fight that I hate with a fiery passion that consumes my ever-burning soul. And by that, I mean that this boss fight sucks. But not nearly as much as the one that comes directly after it. <laughs> The one that comes directly after it is just made of cruelty and meanness and hatred and lots of other hate things. Most mostly hate, just lots of hate and oh, and luck. You need lots and lots of luck, and it makes it worse because that, the next boss fight after this is so hard. And there's long cutscenes right before that you have to go through every single time, because unlike in 10 you can't skip cutscenes. Sorry. Alright guys, we got to the point where I'm gonna use this Hellfire, and we should die. And then we'll be going onwards. To... The worst freaking boss fight. Ugh, I'm gonna hate this, okay. <laughs> See, this boss fight took me like three tries to do. The next one, Uvaleska? I don't even want to think about it, you guys. I really don't want to think about it. <laughs> I, 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 I super don't want to think about it. Oh, Uvaleska's gonna take forever, okay. We did it! And then we go down, and we should be able to just pray and get the final Aeon! Right? Yuna, we're here. The Hall of the Final Summoning. Go. Yes. Everybody else is like, fuck it, we're going with you. So many. Uh, yes, I got more level four keys first. mean no final Aeon? There is no final Aeon. What? Yuna comes back and says, "Guys, get over here!" Dear Orin. You knew Orin. 
you knew or you knew it. Yes. <laughs> I'm gonna save. I'm probably gonna save a lot throughout these cuts. I'm gonna save every single chance that lets me control my character because I can't actually remember what the closest save to the next boss fight is. Guess this what? This isn't a faith. It's just an empty statue. Yep, it's an empty statue of Lord a or it's Lord Theon. The statue lost its power as a faith long ago. It is Lord Zeon, the first faith of the final summoning. What you see before you is all that remains of him. Yep. Lord Zeon is... his soul is gone. Gone? Because it became sin. You mean, there is no final Aeon? But fear not. Lady Unaleska will show you the path. The final Aeon will be yours. The Summoner and the final Aeon will join powers. Go to her now, inside. The Lady awaits. I love how his skin is all green like he's a zombie and his clothes are just in tatters. Yuna, wait! He has not been keeping his clothes very well kept. Lauren, you knew this was gonna happen, didn't you? Yep. Yes. Why didn't you tell us? If I had told you the truth, would that really have stopped you from coming? Luna. I mean, they know that she's gonna, like... They don't I'm know the truth, truth back. yet. Yeah, they don't know the truth, truth Kimari yet. knows. They know that something else is up. Kimari goes first. Yuna is safe. Kimari protect. Aww. <laughs> Save <me> again! <laughs> Save every single chance. Every chance. Every single gosh darn chance. Save like a monster. Because I am not as prepared for this boss fight as I want to be. Especially because it is kind of sort of a puzzle boss in a way, and it's also made of ass. Like, this boss fight has made us so much ass. Okay. <gasps> Someone's coming! I also remember when I did the charity stream with, uh, Lady that got to this point in the charity stream, and I just had Welcome to Zanarkand. Wade being a jerk in I the sky of Kalagoli. You have completed your pilgrimage. Stay away from the summoner! I will now bestow you with that which you seek. The final summoning will be yours. Now, choose. You must choose the one whom I will change. Yep. To become the faith of the final summoner. One of her guardians. That's why guardians are important. There must be a bond between Chosen and Summoner, for that is what the final summoning embodies. What even between is her clothes? And wife, mother and child, or between friends. If that bond is strong enough, its light will conquer sin. A thousand years ago, I chose my husband Zeon as my faith. Our bond was true, and I obtained the final Aeon. There is nothing to fear. You will soon be freed of worry and pain. Okay, now you sound like Seymour. For and once I you call forth the final Aeon, your life will end. Death is the ultimate and final liberation. Your father, Braska, chose this path. What is she wearing? What even are her clothes? Like what? She's wearing a thong and like a metal nipple cover. She's not it's even not wearing a full bright. Let us turn back. If I turn back, who will defeat Sin? Somebody Would else? Would you have some other summoner and his guardians go through this? But... My lord, there must be another way. Oh, there absolutely is, but nobody thought of it this yet. This is the only way we got now. Fine. Make me the faith. I've been doing some thinking. My dream is back in the other Xanarkand. I wanted to make that runt into a star blitz player. I wonder if Jack touched the face on the their way there from the top, you and know. found out that he's a dream. But now I know there's no way home for me. I wonder... And that's how I know there's no way again. home. My dream's never gonna come true. I am just realizing this. So make me the 
the phase. Shector's totally in on it! I'll fight Sin with you, Braska. Then maybe my life will have meaning, you know? Don't do this, Jekt. Because it probably touched the face. If you live... You found out? Oh my god. There may be another way. We'll think of something, I know. Believe sounds me, like he does. I thought this through. Besides... He totally had a talk with Bahadur. Younger, so I might as well make myself useful. Jekt? What? You're not gonna try to stop me too? Sorry. I mean, thank you. Braska still has to fight Sin, Oren. Guard him well. Make sure he gets there. Uh, Whoa. Well, let's go. Well, shit. <laughs> Lord Braska, Jekt. What do you want now? Sin always comes back. It comes back after the calm. Every time. The cycle will continue and your deaths will mean nothing. But there's always a chance it won't come back this time. It's worth it. <laughs> I understand what you're saying, Oren. I'll find a way to break the cycle. You have a Check plan. Check was totally in on Bahamut's plan. Checked? Trust me. I'll think of something. <laughs> oh my god, he was to he was totally in on Bahamut's plan. He totally touched the base at the top of Gagazet and probably had a conversation just like Titus did with Bahamut. Oh, how did I not realize that before? Oh my god. Um killing your pyroflies isn't gonna work, Mr. Unsent Oren. I mean what? And the cycle went on. We'll break it. But how? What, you got Someone? a plan now? <laughs> if one of us has to become a faith, I volunteer. Me too, Luna. Please. Everybody be safe. That faith. still won't change anything, you know? You'd bring the calm, and then what? That won't break the cycle. Listen. You want to defeat Sin and keep Yuna alive. You don't want Sin to come back, yeah? That is just not gonna happen, brother, you know? Tell that the end If you want everything, you'll end up with nothing. But I want everything! Now you're being childish. Oh, shut up, Waka. I give up. So what would an adult do then? They know they can just throw away a summoner. Then they can do whatever they like. You're right. I might not even have a chance. But no way am I gonna just stand here and let Yuna go. And what... Oren said about there being a way, I think it's true. You'll think of... something? In the next five minutes before she gets yes. final A and kills herself? ask Yuna Leska. She's got to know something. You really think she'll help you? I don't know. But I have to try. This is my story. It'll go the way I want it. You selfish! <laughs> or I'll end it here. Wait. Or I'll end it here, or he'll be the faith. <laughs> you say it's your story, but it's my story too, you know? I know, right? He's so selfish! It would be so easy to let my fate just carry me away, following the same path my whole life through. But I know... I can't. What I do... I do, with no regrets. Oh boy. This is going to end... So poorly! Anything here I can get? No. No. Okay, saving! Going back! Getting out of here. I don't want to go through that cutscene again when I inevitably die in this boss fight. It's gonna happen. I am not going to succeed here. I'm calling it now, I'm going to die at least once. At least once. Maybe more than that. Sigh. Okay. Okay. Alright. Let's do this! 
I'm gonna be seeing this cutscene a lot! Hey, honey. Have you chosen the one to become your face? Still don't understand your clothing. Who will it be? <laughs> or lack thereof. Might I ask something first? Will Sin come back even should I use the final summoning to defeat it? Sin is eternal. Every Aeon that defeats it becomes Sin in its place. And thus is Sin reborn. <gasps> yes. So that's why Jack became Sin. Sin is an inevitable part of Spira's destiny. It is never ending. Never ending? But, but, if we atone for our crimes, Sin will stop coming back, yeah? Someday it'll be gone, yeah? yeah? you keep thinking that, Walker. Will humanity ever attain such purity? Nope. <sighs> this, this cannot be! The teachings state that we can exercise sin with complete atonement. It's been our only hope all these years. You have no hope. Hope is comforting. It allows us to accept fate, however tragic it might be. No! Where is the sense in all this? Braska believed in Yevon's teachings and died for them. Jack believed in Braska and gave his life for him. And I'm just swinging around my giant sword they over my crotch for no reason. Because they had hope. So after Jack died, Orin went back and attacked Yonalaska because he is an idiot. And now he is very much dead. Yevon's teachings and the final summoning give the people of Spira hope. Still want to know how Orin age. Without hope, they would drown in their if sorrow. If he died. Now choose. Who will be your faith? Who will be the one to renew Spira's hope? Unibata speech time. After a long pause. <clears throat> no one. I would have gladly died. I live for the people of Spira, and would have gladly died for them. But no more. The final summoning is a false tradition that should be thrown away. No. It is our only hope. Your father sacrificed himself to give Her nipples that hope should totally to be showing through that. So they would forget sorrow. Unless her nipples are like on the side Mom, of her boobs. My father. My father wanted to make Spiro's sorrow go away. Not just cover it up with lies. Sorrow cannot be abolished. It is meaningless to try. My father. I loved him. So I... I will live with my sorrow. I will live my own life. I will defeat sorrow in his place. I will stand my ground and be strong. I don't know when it will be, but someday I will conquer it. And I will do it without false hope. That's the best Small line delivery her voice actor has done in you this game. Throw away hope. <laughs> oh boy. Well, I will free you before you can drown in your sorrow. It is better for you to die in hope than to live in despair. Let me be your liberator. Oh boy! Now! This is it! Now is the time to choose. Die and be free of pain. Or live and fight your sorrow. Now is the time to shape your stories. Your fate is in your hands. Yuna needs Kimari. Kimari, protect Yuna. Well, I'm fighting. I can't believe we're gonna fight Lady Unaleska. Give me a break. You can always run. I love how everybody gets to have their lines. I'd never forgive myself. No way. 
Everybody gets their lives before you molest their tax. <laughs> Even in death, yeah? My thoughts exactly. Yuna! This is our story. Now let's see this thing through together. Oh my god, shut up about the story stuff. P.S. Seriously. Bro. Alright. So this is a three-stage boss fight that is made of bullshit. Because in the second stage of the boss fight, unless you have zombie-proof and death- or zombie-proof and death-proof armor, or something like that, you have to get zombie status on somebody or you're going to immediately die in the third stage of this battle. And it's dumb, and I don't like it. Yeah. This is going to suck so much. Oh! Here we go! Second stage of the boss fight. Okay. I'm still on my first attack, but we're on the second stage of the boss fight. This is- this one and the next one are the ones where it gets really dicey. Unless I die immediately. I mean, okay, no. Cool, we've got three people with zombie status. That's a good thing. Sort of. What we're gonna do is we're gonna start switching people out because we wanna make sure that we have people with zombie status. But... We also want to make sure that those people don't get killed by Yumaleska because she can heal them to kill them. Yeah, like using Ragan on somebody that's freaking zombie. Oh, use it on Tita! Sure, fine, whatever. Cool times, bro. And third stage boss fight? Okay, I'm still on my first try, you guys. This is the one that can be bad, though, because it auto uses death. I have an A on up, so we might be okay. But I'm not sure. And that's why you want to have zombie, because death doesn't work on a zombie, obviously. So mega death, that's the problem, because it uses death on the entire part. So. Okay, she doesn't mean to it. That's good. That's good. This is a good thing. Mind blast, however... Less good. Less is always oh, cursed, my aunt. Gosh darn it. I forgot the aeons can be cursed. Okay then. I, I'm too scared of Megadeth to not use my aeons now, but... <laughs> yes! 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 Oh my god, I got me used in that too! <laughs> I hate him. A little, slightly over 16,000 gil to do it. But oh my god, your Jimbo loves me. Oh, I've never beaten... I don't think I've ever beaten Unilefk on the first time before. Oh, I don't think I've ever beaten Unilefk on the first try, you guys. And I just did it. I just beat Unilefk on the first try. I just beat Unilefk on the first try. Oh my god, I'm so happy with that. Oh, I don't think I've ever beaten, him, beaten her on the first try. Oh, I'm so happy about that. Because usually she kicks my ass three or four times, but no. No, I came with a plan. And, and, and freaking Yojimbo used Don Mato. I panicked and I just threw a bunch of gill at him. And, oh my god, I just beat Alaska on the first try. If I die, so does the final Aeon. <sighs> He's beating and with it, Spira's only hope. Oh, shut up, Yojimbo, you're dead. Then we'll find Spira a new hope. Fool, there is no other way. Even if there was, even if you did destroy Sin, you, Yevon, the immortal, would only create Sin anew. You, Yevon? Ah, oh, Zeon, forgive me. Spira has been robbed of the light of hope. All that remains is sorrow. Girl, shut up and die, lady. Ah, <sighs> oh, I just beat. It feels so good. It feels so good. <laughs> oh, I have never beaten her. Please, please. Okay. I cannot believe the recording fails. Not to all try. Did. Oh, I just beat an Alaska the first try. More unbelievable. What? Destroy sin, so it won't come back. And without the final Aeon. I don't know how just yet, but I'll find out. You're not helping. But I beat him! I beat him, bruh! Beat his butt! His butt!
husband beat it. Let me get something from here. Oh, hey. Ha! Part of an ultimate weapon. I just did that based off of. Wait, I think I remember getting something for an ultimate weapon here at one point. Oh, this is awesome. Everything is awesome. Everything is beautiful. Life is amazing. This is my least favorite boss fight. Usually the hardest boss fight for me in the entire freaking game. We must talk. What? There's something you should know. What, that he's undead? I already knew it. I know. It's about you, right? Totally unsent. I am also an unsent. I want to know how... Surprised. I still want to know how he aged. I think... I kind of knew. It was Unaleska, wasn't it? When Braska and Jekt died defeating Sin. Well, Jekt didn't die, to be fair. I just couldn't accept it. I came back here, tried to avenge them. But she struck me down. Somehow I made my way, crawling down Mount Gagazette. But my strength left me, just outside Bevel. That's where Kamari found me. I told him about Yuna, just before I died. And Kimari said nothing I've been about this? Ever since. <laughs> Never going to the far plane. Aaron. Somehow aging. Don't make that face. Even though he was dead. Being dead has its advantages. I was able to ride <laughs> Sin and go to your Xanarkand. And you've been watching over me since then, haven't you? Because Daddy asked. Why? Me. What's the big idea? Why me? Because Jack, duh. It is one of those things that is difficult to explain. Very well, I will show you. You have to show him. All you have to do is say, Jack asked me to watch over you. <laughs> My memories. Because I am unsent. Can I ask you one last favor? Uh. Nah, never mind. Out with it. Okay, listen. Are you staring at Jack's butt? Take care of my son. <laughs> my son in Xanarkand. He's such a crybaby. He needs someone there to hold his hand, see? Take care of him, will you? Stop trying to be such a tough guy, Jack. But you know how am I supposed softy? to go to Xanarkand? <laughs> hey, you said it yourself. There must be a way to get there, right? You'll find it. You just have to uh, die first. All right, I will. I give you my word. I'll take care of your son. I'll guard him with my life. Thanks, Oren. You were always such a stiff. But that's what I like to write right you. Right in his face. Jack hug. What a jack hug. He seems like he'd give just like that such burly bear hugs. Damn it, Oren. You could've... It's a hard thing to explain. All you had to say was Jack asked me to. And if you don't believe me, here's the memory. God, I still can't believe I beat Unalaska on the first try. Oh, I'm so happy about that. Because Unaleska is the hardest boss fight in this game because of all the bullshit she throws with, oh hey, instant mega death in the third part, but she's also the only boss in this game that has three distinct stages like that. Not even the final boss really does. I mean, I guess you could say one version of Sin does, but it's three separate battles, sort of? But you know, I just kicked Sin's ass. Or, I mean, I just kicked Unaleska's ass. I'm going to kick Sin's ass. Oh, I'm sorry about that. Okay. <laughs> Onwards to adventure. We gotta do a little bit more before, before I can end this episode. AKA. Sup, Daddy? <laughs> Daddy came to say hi and chill out with his creepy ass eyes. I know. The final summoning's gone. But I'll think of something. Just give me a little more time. It's like Sin came there expecting the final summoning to kill him. It's like, God damn it! Unaleska told me that I needed to come here so I get killed, and then you guys just went and killed Unaleska, so now I can't die yet. Okay. Peace out. <laughs> Thank you.
Henson's like, I, I, I'm too, I'm too not caring right now. I ain't even gonna attack the airship. <laughs> I'm just gonna peace out. I do kind of want to know how the gigantic chainmail skirt around the airship stays up, because that thing must weigh a metric ton. Or a couple metric tons. Sup, brother? You're my favorite, Sid. Sid is looking like a Where's he now? He's somewhere there. Yuna died we the <laughs> happy looking bunch. Where's Yuna? Frana, Frana. Where? Where? That all you can say? Why don't you think of something? Why don't you think of something? Well, any good ideas? Since we just Come killed Alaska. help us. What do we know? Sin is Jet. Yes. Thus, you have a link, a bond with Sin. Yes. That may be our key. So, what do we do? We think and we wait. You're not helping, Orin. <laughs> so not Two helping. things I'm bad at. Me too, bro. Me too. I I, I know those feels. There's Yuna. Okay. <laughs> Yuna's like, should I send him now? <laughs> nah. <laughs> Hi guys. Suddenly we're in Yuna's eyes for some reason. And this is a really awkward camera angle. She's just looking dead-eyed into your soul. Oh right, this is Yuna meeting Sid. Hi, Uncle! Rince is like, I'm not gonna cry, I swear. That is just like, nope, can't do this, can't do emotions. Wait for it. Told you he was crying. <laughs> totally crying. He's like, he looks just like my sister. Or she looks just like my sister. English is hard. He merged like Okay, we can go this way now. We need to sit and think this through. There has to be a way. Oh, there definitely is. In fact, it's sort of obvious if you think about it, but mm, uh, still thinking. Think harder. So much for the final Aeon solving everything. Yeah, well. All right, what you got, Sid? We'll wait till you think of a. Oh, you're not helping. Okay, let's go find Yuna. Yuna is the main character. We're in. Watch yeah. this, and we'll lose everything. We need to plan carefully. And do what nobody else figured out in the thousand years that Sin's been a thing. Hi, Ren. May I help you? No, bye. Thank you. I think Yuna's on the deck of the ship. I can't remember. It has been a long time since I've gotten this far in Final Fantasy. To oh, there she is. Okay, she's not on the deck quite, but she's close. Yuni. So yeah, we just killed like the second pope. We killed Seymour. I'm that was no first good. pope. At all. Oh, you're fine. What are you talking about? All this time I've been thinking about how to defeat Sin. But I... Beyond the teachings of Yevon... I... I know nothing. I'm sorry. Yuna, no apologies. No. But... Apology is running. Yuna never run away. Hmm. <laughs> Kimari is still Thank like you, the best. Kamari. I love Kimari. So, uh, Kamari, you got any good ideas? Nope. <laughs> Yevin's teachings. The teachings won't help us fight sin. No answer in the teachings. Answers lie outside. 
must know both sides to find answer. Kimari's not both wrong sides. here if you think about it, but... Micah knows much. Find him. Make him talk. That's it! Kimari, you ha! rock! Let's go talk to Micah. Mm -hmm. This is going to end poorly. Or very well. Either way, let's go talk to Sid and do the thing. God, this episode's gonna be... Actually, this episode's only probably gonna be about an hour long, hour, hour and a half, maybe. Maybe hour and a half. It's just I have to cut out so much. But I think in grand total, I've been recording for... Oh, wrong way. I've been recording for about three hours? Just shy of three hours? But, like, 80% of that is freaking random battles, boss fights, and running from location to location, which is stuff that I cut out because you can't really commentate easily over that. There's, it's not really anything. Okay. Sid! Sid, we're gonna get the fuck hey out guys, of here! I just had a great idea! You had a terrible idea. It was my idea! Let me tell them! Waka, you're rude. It's like this, yeah? Waka! I just thought... The hymn's the key. Ah! Ha! Lulu. <laughs> The hymn? Sir Jack likes the hymn of the faith, correct? Yeah? Yep. <laughs> that took way too long That's to answer. That's why he was listening to it in Makalania. Sin, violence incarnate, listening peacefully. Uh, I know it's you, old man, and I don't mean no disrespect, but... He gotta murder his No, butt. it's fine. I've gotten used to it. <laughs> That's the speak good. Let me say it. If we attack Sin head on, we've little chance of winning. Yep. However, if he hears the hymn of the faith, he will become docile. Yeah, and that's when we make our move. Uh, might be against the rules and all, but who's keeping track, yeah? <laughs> They've committed yeah? so much blasphemy. <laughs> yeah, it could really work. So much blasphemy. Yeah. Yeah, it's worth a try. All right, here we go, Brosif. We're gonna sing the hymn of the faith. Track to sit open the map, picks into destination, and you're there. Well, that sounds like a plan to me. Our baby here will take us anywhere we want. I love Sid's voice actor. He has such a great accent. Okay, so we need to go to the high bridge. We're not going to just yet, because I've been recording for ages. So, see, now everything's opened up to me, so I can go and do a whole bunch more stuff. So, yeah. No, I mean, I, I don't want to be in the script, thank you. So that's gonna be it for this video, you guys. My name's Miss Scarlet Tanager, and I've been playing some Final Fantasy X HD Remaster. I'll see you all in the next video.